looks like someone got their Christmas wish of big anime titties. Hello and welcome to the Anime Void. I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about my first impressions of the dub of Senren Kagura, Shinobi Masters. Now, for those of you who do not know, Senren Kagura is a video game series focusing around ninjas where the core games are kind of a Dynasty Warriors play style with like hordes of mobs and you have to clear them all out. But there are more game genres that this series covers, not limited to a dating sim, a pinball game, a subpar third person shooter, and even a cooking game. By God is this series diverse! Though, throughout all of the games and the anime series, it is most known for giant titties. It is a fan service series through and through. Yeah, it may have a story that you like, but let's be real here, it's about the ass and tits. And when this series starts, and I should point out that it starts during Christmas, which I kind of love, how many animes do you see that just start out in Christmas? I mean, yeah, sure, some animes, few and part between, may get a Christmas episode, but none start in Christmas. The closest I can think to is Popotan because they're in a Christmas shop, even though it's never actually Christmas. So yeah, in the episode, we meet Asuka, the main heroine of the Senran Kagura series, shopping for Christmas gifts for her friends. And she runs into another one of her friends, Yumi, who, by the way, was never introduced in the first season of this anime. Yes, is the second season. She was, however, introduced in the OVA, and she's featured in the games. But if you've only ever watched the anime, you're going to be super confused about this character because Asuka just approaches her and acts like she's just been there the entire time. So, yeah, you, you need knowledge for this series. Not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, since it's intrinsically tied into the games. But, for people that have literally only watched the first season of the anime, you are gonna be confused about this new person. Well, quote-unquote new person. And that's where this series really starts to interest me, because... It, it, it feels like a slice-of-life anime. Like, okay, this episode's Christmas, the next episode's probably gonna be something else, and it's gonna be... Another kind of like fan service like very fan service. This show is super fan service, as you should expect from this series. But it's still like it's fun. It's just like friends just being friends and having fun. Nothing's really crazy. It just kind of feels creepy that we're just like peeking in on these friends' lives. That part does kind of feel weird. But if you're used to fan service, you're used to that feeling and you can overcome it. Which, unfortunately, I have. However, towards the end of the episode, these pair of twins, who I personally like to call the Ghost of Christmas Justice, come in and may or may not have killed all of Asuka's friends. Do not know. Left that pretty damn ambiguous. And then proceed to beat the shit out of Asuka herself. And that's where the episode ends. So that was really goddamn confusing because honestly, I like the idea of the slice of life because I do enjoy slice of life. It's probably one of my more favorite um, kind of things. So it was one of those rare cases where an anime introduces a plot and I lose interest in it. <laughs> I'll be real here. I lost interest as soon as the plot started. I was fully on board, having, like, this fun comedy with, uh, loads of fan service and just wacky shenanigans. I was all for that. Then it got super dark, super serious, out of seemingly nowhere, as a person who's just sitting there watching and enjoying this is just, like, the turn it took. Gave me whiplash. But hey, I watched it with a friend of mine, and he said that he enjoyed and wanted to see more of what this twist was going to amount to. And so, hey, you may enjoy that, especially if you enjoy Senran Kagura. Or, I guess, like, fan service action comedies. 
You see, that twist really confused me about what to judge this as. Because it's definitely comedy, definitely action, but it, it feels like I'm adding too many quantifiers to this. Qualifiers. And yeah, I said that I watched the dub, so I should talk about the voices. I enjoyed the voices. I can't say any voice was inherently grating or terrible that I didn't like to listen to. Every voice sounded nice, fit the character models, and everything on that level. So I have no re real complaint about the voices. But yeah, for this one, I am unsure if I'm going to continue or not. I'll see how I feel about it, like, when the next episode comes out, um, or maybe, like, a few episodes, and I may try to watch a few more episodes, but right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to really invest time into watching this and finishing it. But hey, that's it for me here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss an upload from me, and I hope you join me next time in the void. Thanks for watching.